what are the uh, the tours that you've helped put on? Um, well, I'm just coming up to 54 years in the business, so my, you can come up with quite a lot of acts that I've worked with. I mean, I I, I worked with Tom Petty for 22 years, Fleetwood Mac when he was back in the days of Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac when they were a blues band in England. Um, I worked with. I started in the business with a guy called Mick Ronson, who was the guitarist with the Spiders. And um, I now work at the moment, I'm working with Def Leppard, uh, Dead and Company, John Mayer. So, and I'm doing some dates in February with Steely Dan, who I've worked with for many years. So, I'm, uh, how can I say, busy. And uh, I'm now 70 and I should be retiring, but guess what? I'm not because I love what I do. So, I'm not going to give up. I, I want to slow down a bit, but. Are you from Manchester? Hmm? From the north of England, Manchester? Yeah, from Yorkshire. No, no, wrong side of the Pennines. Yeah, I'm from Yorkshire, yeah. So, were you involved when the British invasion was uh, popular in the mid-60s? Yeah. yeah. I started in 66. So, uh, yeah, I've been around for a long time. The Animals? Um, all those sort of bands. Uh, Peter Frampton, when he was in a band called The Herd. Um, uh, I worked with a couple of Apple's groups and you know yeah it was uh, I did Emerson Lake and Palmer you know I've worked for a lot of people a long time 50 50 yeah 50, coming up 54 years you pack a lot of people in in that time so and a lot of American acts I've worked with Diana Ross for a long time Bette Midler I've done a lot I've been a very very lucky guy over the years to work for some amazing people so yeah I'm very happy. Do you put on shows uh, around the globe? Yes yeah anywhere in the world. Asia you've been to South yeah. America? Yeah yeah. Africa? I've just come back from uh, with Def Leppard out in Australia, Japan, New Zealand and then we we did Ireland and uh, England and um, I'm going out with John Mayer at the end of March to do um, we're doing Taiwan we're doing Japan uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, yeah, anywhere, you know, as well as Russia, China, you know, if there's somewhere to put a show on, I've probably done it. <laughs> uh, how often do you appear in a tie, wearing a necktie? Um, I like to wear one as often as possible, actually. Um, I uh, have got away from the old black attire of a roadie, shall I say. I like to, you know, step it up a bit you know I mean uh, I had my years of wearing uh, the uh, uniform shall we say I mean depends on the show what, what you're doing if you need to be an all black I'll wear it other than that no I don't like wearing black if I can ask so the Ariana Grande uh, uh, bombing in Manchester yeah. and the Mandalay attack in Las Vegas is there a, a, a new concern about security for live events um, no I think everybody's Everybody's been very sensible about it. Everybody takes it all on board. You know, um, most most acts now have got you know security companies that work. Yeah, everybody's taking it on board and treats it with uh, with uh, you know with respect because um, you know there's some lunatics out there. There's some you know some horrible people and uh, you know who want to disrupt people enjoying themselves in life and uh, you know it's unfortunate.